Will 2012 bring a new marketing strategy to your business plan? It's something to consider. Just before the holidays, Farm Director Al Pell discussed marketing with Ag Day analyst Andy Schisler. Andy Schisler, Roach Ag, is our guest here at uh, Ag Day on the Agribusiness Desk. And let's talk about something that almost every producer is involved in right now, and that's his marketing plan. Whether he likes it or she likes it or not, they're involved in it. It's uh, getting that time of year. You know, we finished up out of the fall with a lot of the work that's done and guys are going home and getting ready for taxes and thinking about you know, now what do you do with all these corn prices right. and you know, where are things going to be next year and how profitable am I going to be? Well, this is, this is when we go around and help farmers write market plans. You know, we do them between December all the way through March. but. Uh, we usually don't do a lot of selling right now. We get prepped up for what kind of acres and what kind of bushels that we're going to need to get priced next year. And uh, we usually plan on selling those out March through June. And so December is not one of your better times of the year to sell, and neither really is January or February. I'm going to put a point in here. Many people have told me that you can make as much money with a good marketing plan as you can with a good plan for growing your crop. Now, go on with your marketing plan. And one of the things that goes with a good marketing plan is throwing out the things that's going to derail it. Yeah. Okay. And so one of the things that derails it is selling in times of the year when you shouldn't. And so if you can eliminate that, you're going to do a heck of a lot better this year than you did last year. Okay. You don't usually want to sell corn in the early winter. Prices seasonally go up like all the time almost between now and March. You know, as we get into the growing season and some of the risk factors start to show up, whether you have a weather problem here or there, um, it just it becomes easier to get rallies, you know, with the unknown out there on what our crop size is going to be. So we recommend making four to five sales a year in our, in our peak pricing periods. And so, like, like I say, we like to get wrapped up what kind of bushels those will be, and we want to get you set up for the kind of puts that you would want to buy on market peaks to take advantage of rallies. We all know the market goes up and down. You know, we like to sell it when it's up and buy the puts and then take money out of it when it goes down. I'm going to add one thing because we're, we've already come to the end of the show, but the idea is you build a good marketing plan and then you follow the plan. <laughs> and avoid the pitfalls. <laughs> we'll be back with more Ag Day in just a moment. To talk with Andy Schisler one-on-one, -on -one, call Roach Ag Marketing, toll-free at 800-374-0049.